I love getting new features on my technology, but Amazon is taking this to the next level. Not only will you soon be sharing your smart home network with your neighbors, but you're going to be able to find your puppy wherever they go. This update and more as we show you all the latest news, features, and products with Miss A. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life, but today I'm going to let Samuel L. Jackson take the frustration out of automation for you. Enable Samuel. By the way, to wake me up, you can use my custom wake word. Hey Samuel, so do you want me to set that up for you on this device? Yes. Well, okie dokie, you're all set. It might take us a minute to set some stuff up. Yeah. What's the weather? No, I won't get you the motherfucking weather. I'm just kidding. Let me see. Right now in New York, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Roast me. I recognize that you've asked to be roasted, but given that it's yet another one of your stupid ass decisions, I've elected to ignore it. Now, I love a good community effort, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go and join a community garden anytime soon. I mean, I'd have to see my neighbors and I'd probably have a lot of work to do. But I'd like to contribute to the community overall, and Amazon is giving us a chance to do this without all of that neighborly interaction. And this is all coming from a technology that they actually talked about last year, but are now deploying in a much larger or wider way. If you don't know what this technology is called, it's Amazon Sidewalk, and there's a lot of depth to the communication technologies being employed, but it's going to bring us a number of features or a number of capabilities that are really important and things that we're missing today. There are a couple of applications to this technology that I really love right off the bat, and the first is what Amazon talked about last year, where you could find items or pets very far away from your house, but it's also going to give you the ability with certain smart bulbs and certain smart devices to be able to connect further out of your home so you're not going to necessarily need your Wi-Fi to reach all the way and then the other thing is that you know a smart home camera is a great device right up until the point when you lose your Wi-Fi and many people talk about that as being the Achilles heel of the whole system well Amazon actually looks to solve this by giving you those motion detection notices using Amazon on sidewalk. Personally, I'm really excited about the additional applications that Amazon isn't even talking about. And I think there's a ton here. When we talk about a technology like LoRa, which is part of Amazon Sidewalk being used, this is something many smart cities are using today. And plus, all of the technology can be applied to things like appliances and water meters or gas meters or your power meters throughout home and industry. And there's even an application being talked about with the Red Cross and improving efficiency for them. Now, I know that the Echo Auto hasn't been everybody's favorite device, but I found some pretty good applications for it and I've enjoyed it myself. Now, for those of you who are employing that little device, it's going to become very easy for you to pay for gas. This is just rolling out in the US right now, but it is extremely easy to actually just ask Miss A to pay for gas when you're at the station and it's going to geolocate you and start the process of paying for the gas that you're about to pump. Some of my favorite communication technologies are actually Amazon's announcements and drop-ins, and that's because this allows you different ways to to communicate with the people in your lives and and honestly they're just easy communication methods but one of the things that bothers me the most about it is when I'm hearing noise in the background. I, you hear keyboards typing, you hear people in the background talking, and really you just want to hear the person that you're either discussing with or the announcement that's coming through. And so Amazon has actually applied a brand new technology for reducing that noise in the background. And I think you're going to be blown away by the difference you hear. For the great majority of people here and now do naturally write romanticism. For the great majority of people here and now do naturally write romanticism. For the great majority of people here and now do naturally write romanticism. Just recently I put out a video that helps you and, and seniors in general to get more out of Miss A and the different services that she provides. But there comes a point when every one of us needs help and having one of these devices actually might be a 
savior in that moment because Amazon is right now rolling out a feature where you can designate an emergency contact inside of the application and then at any point you can actually ask Miss A to call for help. One of the things that I have been so impressed with is the fact that many companies are stepping up and helping us deal with kind of the messed up scheduled life that we're living with. And Amazon has done this in spades with kids and their school routines. At this point, kids are going to be able to ask for updates from Canvas, Infinite Campus, and Coursera. I want to show you guys something that I've been working with for a little bit here and I think bridges a gap that is a bit problematic right now. Now this is called the Juno AI Master Downlight and the device itself is essentially a recessed lighting fixture but it has Amazon's voice assistant on board and then on top of that the light directly goes into Samsung SmartThings and can be controlled there. A couple of the things that I really like about it is the smooth transition between between the lighting temperature and the dimming that you're requesting and the speaker is pretty impressive too. Speaking of that Samsung SmartThings and Amazon integration and the gaps there, there's a pretty big gap coming and most of you who have both of those systems will have received an email that says you need to enable the new skill and you absolutely need to go and do this. Samsung has some instructions on their website. I have some instructions for you as well so I'll leave links down below for doing this but you need to do it or you're about to lose the integration between those two platforms. One of my favorite devices is still the Amazon Fire TV stick and I like the Fire TV Cube because I don't have to pick up the remote every time I want Miss A to do something. Now you can do a little bit more today with Miss A and get kind of a compact interface or a compact response for things like the weather and other basic information information. Now this just shows up at the bottom of your screen and I think it looks great. Another great kids function here or actually a function for lots of you because you can connect most of your printers to Miss A today and you can print out some pretty basic things with just some basic commands. One of my favorite things is always the new devices from Amazon and the Echo Flex got updated with a smart clock which I think is my new favorite accessory for that device. In the got their own version of the Amazon smart plug and this is intended to work a lot just like the ones that we've seen in North America and other parts of the world. Plus I talked about the new Blink cameras that are coming out. There's a new indoor and outdoor version and what I really like about these is a couple of the accessories that you can get. So there's a battery pack that can bring the battery life up to four years and then you can also get the sync module and I think this is a really important component for those of you who want to avoid subscription plans because you can then record everything locally for four years. If you have a Ring Video doorbell, a Lutron Smart Bridge, and Smart Lighting by Cassetta, well then you have the ability to actually create a direct integration that would turn on your lights whenever someone comes, rings the doorbell, they'll go on for 15 minutes and go on to 100%. As long as there's no mother snakes on the mother plane. Okay. <laughs> now as far as I'm concerned this is the most wonderful time of the year because we're getting new devices and new systems from all of these makers and that is exactly what Amazon did just a few days ago and you're going to want to keep up with that. There are a ton of new announcements in that video and quite frankly we couldn't fit them in this so go watch that video. Otherwise guys thanks for watching and of course don't hate automate.